Well, welcome back. New at 10 tonight. As we mentioned before the break, we are getting a closer look at Quincy Mayor Kyle Moore's push to grow the city over the next 10 years. Now, if you remember earlier this week, the mayor unveiled a new 45 by 30 plan. WGM's Kaylee Feiferling joins us in the newsroom to explain. Kaylee. Dylan, 45 by 30 means 45,000 in population by the year 2030. And I asked Mayor Moore why 45,000. He said the Quincy Next strategic plan identified 3,200 new jobs that would be created here within the next 10 years. So this plan is to grow our population in order to tackle the employment numbers head on, while also addressing the fact that the city of Quincy has stayed the same in terms of population for more than 60 years. Invest in talent, increase tourism, and modernize the approach to retail. Those are the three ways Mayor Kyle Moore plans to boost population by the year 2030. We've done a lot to make the city of Quincy a great place to live and work and raise a family, but that doesn't mean we're without challenges. On the talent side of things, the 45 by 30 plan would offer $10,000 in incentives for people to move here. $5,000 in moving assistance, $2,500 to move to a revitalized neighborhood, and another $2,500 for those who are willing to work those in-demand jobs, such as manufacturing and health care. Our challenges are a stagnant and aging population with open jobs. So how can we fill those? When looking at tourism, Moore says he would be willing to launch an entertainment underwriting bank in order to bring in national acts to the Gem City. We know that when a uh, visitor spends the night here, on average, they're going to spend $150 per night in our community. So that will have an immediate impact. But first and foremost, Mayor Moore says he wants to tackle the empty storefronts. We also need to have programs that other and incentives that other communities are offering. Moore says the cost to redevelop our large anchor spaces is growing, so the city could offer a grant to fill those vacant spaces, which would help with demolition, upgrading, and enhancing buildings. All of which, officials say, creates a trickle-down effect for the town as a whole. It creates so many more opportunities for business to expand. It fills these job openings, which makes these businesses more successful, which means more investment in the community. All of these plans are just that, they're plans. They still need to be discussed and approved by the City Council, and more hopes to start looking at this plan and possibly implementing it after the start of the new year. Kaylee Pfeifferling, WGEM News. All right, Kaylee, thanks so much. The 45 by 30 plan is expected to cost $1.4 million. That money would come from a 2% food and beverage tax, which is still yet to be approved, remember, by the City Council.